Welcome back to Applied Bargaining Theory. I'm William Spaniel, and this lecture is on competition when it comes to buying a car. Think about this question for a moment. As a buyer, is competition among sellers a good thing for you? Pause the lecture if you need to, and in the comment section below, yes or no, is competition a good thing? Well, I'm guessing just about every single one of you correctly answered, yes, of course competition is a good thing. And yet, the average game plan when it comes to buying a car completely ignores this fact. That's because the average game plan looks something like this. Step one, go to a single dealer. Step two, find a car at that dealership. And step three, negotiate with that single dealership a price for the vehicle. If you do this, you have already lost. You are ignoring the fact that a dealership faces competition from other dealerships for your business. And by virtue of the fact that you're not leveraging those other dealerships against a single particular dealership, you are not getting the best price that you could. The better way to leverage this competition among parties is to execute the following game plan. Step one, pick a car. You can go online. Online has all sorts of information about all the different types of cars out there. Use that resource to your advantage. Figure out which car that you want. Step two, contact all dealers that have that particular vehicle. Email them or call them and say, hey, I want to buy this car. How much is it going to be? What is your best price? Get that price from them. Step 2A is actually make them give you a price. Dealers know that competition is bad for them. They want you to have that previous game plan where you just go to the single dealership and figure out what car you want to get from them. They do not want to have you go around and try to leverage business and better prices from other sides. They want to make you exclusive to their dealership. So they're going to resist giving you a price. You need to be firm. You need to tell them, you will give me a price or I will go elsewhere. And think about this for a moment. If you're a dealership that's actually going to offer the best price possible, what sort of incentive do you have to hide this fact? You're not going to pretend that, hey, uh, yeah, I don't want to have you know what my best price is because I don't know. They're not going to do that. A dealership that doesn't have the best price is going to avoid giving you a price over the phone. So if they don't want to give you a price, fine, ignore them. They're not the best dealership out there. If they are willing to give you a price, though, they're still in competition for your business because that dealership knows, in fact, that it is going to be competitive and offer you a relatively good price. Step three is to take all of those prices that you have and leverage the best price out there. Just because one dealership didn't give you the best price doesn't mean that you can't go back to that dealership with a better price from someone else and say, hey, this other dealership has offered me this price. Can you go a little bit lower? I'd be happy to do my business with you instead if you were to beat this other dealership. And then you wash, rinse, and repeat until you finally figure out what the best price possible is for you and buy that car at that price from that dealership. Just to be a little bit concerned here, not all cars are the same. You have to be careful when you do this. Certain cars will have different packages and different sort of details to them, even when they're new, and that's going to make the value of a car different when it comes to going from one dealership to another with these minute little differences. So you have to watch out for that, and this is especially true if you're looking at used cars, because they're going to have different mileages and different sorts of wear and tear. So you really have to be careful about that as you're going through this process. Another thing that you need to be careful about is fees. Dealers might want to tack on these crazy fees like washing the car and drying it and setting it up for you and stuff like that. You don't want to detail yourself with these problems. You want to make them be concerned with this. And so you're going to tell them that, in fact, you don't want to know what the base price is. You want to know what the final price is so you don't get surprised with these sorts of fees. Also, you need to be concerned a little bit about taxes. Taxes might vary from dealership to dealership if they're in different towns or cities. So be careful about that. If you want to learn more about this, check out the lecture from Bargaining 101 on the power of outside options by clicking on the annotation on the left of your screen. That lecture essentially explains the technical details about why outside options or leveraging competition from other parties allows you to drive a harder bargain for yourself. If you're interested in learning more about the different applications of the power of outside options, check out Game Theory 101 Bargaining Chapter 5. You can find a link to that in the video description below.